Welcome to our lecture online. Have you ever gone to the uh, local sporting goods store and bought a canteen and I wondered why did they put cloth on both sides? It does make it look pretty, but that's not the real purpose of the cloth. The cloth there is to help you cool down the water inside through evaporation. So what you're supposed to do after you fill the canteen full of water, you're supposed to take it and dip it in the water source, like the local creek or the lake, wherever you got the water from, so that it's nice and wet on both sides. Now the fleece on both sides is made so that it can absorb quite a bit of water. And let's say that on each side you can absorb 10 grams of water, so it's nice and wet. Now as you're carrying around your canteen as you're hiking, the, uh, the air will then slowly evaporate the, uh, the moisture out of the cloth until the cloth is dry. And through the evaporation, well, that requires energy because when you want to uh, evaporate something, that requires 540 calories for every gram of water you evaporate. That's called the latent heat of vaporization. Now, if you assume that the canteen holds one liter of water, which is the same as a thousand grams of water, and let's say that the heat lost due to the, um, the evaporation comes from the heat loss inside the canteen, then how much can you cool the water down? Uh, how much, uh, by how much can you cool the water inside your can canteen? That's what I'm trying to say. So essentially, it's a cooling mechanism to cool the water inside your canteen. Now, we're going to assume for a moment that all the heat came from inside the canteen, so the water cools down. Probably it's only 50% or so, maybe some of the other heat comes from the air, who knows, but if it's all the heat came from inside the canteen, by how much would the temperature of the water cool down? So using a little equation right here is the amount of heat lost by the water inside is equal to the heat gained for the evaporation of the water on the outside. And if you solve that for the change in temperature, 20 grams of water, 10 grams on each side, 540 calories per gram, divide by 1,000 grams, and the specific heat of water, it turns out you can cool the water by almost 11 degrees Celsius, or 11 Celsius degrees is the, the proper way of saying it. Now, even if only half the heat comes from inside the canteen, the other half comes from outside the air, that would still be five or six degrees of cooling for the water inside, and that's kind of nice. It's nicer to drink cold water than drink kind of lukewarm water when you're out on a hot hike. So, if you ever wondered why they put cloth on both sides of the canteen, it's to cool the water inside. It's a technique they've been using for a very long time in many places around the world, and they're still, still available. Love these canteens. Keeps your water nice and cool. Um, you know what? We should do an experiment. Why don't we try that? So we'll do an experiment. We'll put, fill the canteen with water, put water on both sides, put a thermometer in there, and see by how much we cool the water. Should be an interesting experiment. That should be next. 